Welcome to Biophilian's Kitchen. Nowadays, probiotics are very popular in Mumbai. And uh, they say that for different uh, microbes in the gut, we need different types of probiotics. And just taking buttermilk is not enough. So ambly and buttermilk, is, would that be enough? It's a loaded question. <laughs> it's not one question. Basically, uh, the reason why we need probiotics is that we are made of ourselves. If we have one cell contributing from our body, there are more than thousand cells that are made of different kinds of bacteria in your gut. So, we are not what we are, actually. We are actually living with different kinds of bacteria, which, of course, coexist within us, and they do coordinate with our system and uh, make us feel that it is, without them, actually, we are not healthy. And being healthy means you have wonderful coexistence of lot of diversified bacteria in your uh, gut. Uh, at the same time, we need to be aware that we are made of 70% of it is lactobacillus. Okay. So, each mammal gut is infested with different kinds of... The infest word may not be the right word. Um, infest is when you have bad bacteria. And bad means which is not suitable for you. So, we are actually... They are har we are harboring. Let us use the word harboring. And the harboring nice bacteria in our guts and most of it is lactobacillus or human beings. For another animal it is something else, for another animal it is something else. But the remaining 30-40% of bacteria actually variations are there. And how do we attract that good bacteria to our body is actually basically it is the fiber content that is present in, they are called prebiotic food. Okay. So you have lot of greens, various kinds of greens they associate themselves with various kinds of bacteria. Okay. So now if I make ambali with foxtail millet, its fiber is different. Now I make with kodo millet, its fiber is different. I make with barnyard millet, its fiber is different. So that's why in our protocol we keep telling that keep changing the grain so that you are harboring lot of different kinds of bacteria depending upon the enrichment of the fiber that is available in each grain. And that is another important reason why you need to eat diversified greens. So I like palak, keep eating only palak. That means you are selecting some particular kind of bacteria and that starts increasing. So that you are not having balance. So the same thing is completely equally important that you choose your prebiotics so that your probiotics, the condition, becomes diversified. Hence, different kadas, not one and the same. So I like mint kashayam. So don't drink mint kashayam all the year. And that is not going to help you because the diversity is not going to be maintained. So this is the um, way you look at this prebiotic and probiotic. And we, in our country, uh, all this wonderful scientific concept was Without ganji, without kashaya, no one used to go out. In yes. fact, when you are going out of the house, what it meant in the earlier days, going out of the house means you are not coming back for three days or five days because the travel used mm -hmm. to be so long. And so we need to have this kind of prebiotic, probiotic condition. So they, we used to have a lot of buttermilk along with some ginger or some mint leaves or some uh, curry leaves or some pudina leaves. So in that itself, they were making differences. You understand the logic behind what we were doing at different local places. So the, the food habits, the f making of our food and the processing was so scientific. And they were never doing the same thing. If they were to do in winter with ginger, in summer with curry leaves, in um, autumn, with some other material. Because locally, at that particular time, those materials were available, and they, in fact, harbor wonderful, diversified probiotic condition in our system. So this is the logic of our food culture, which is completely wiped out yeah. by this modern industrial food culture. And hence, we have the problem. And that's how we are completely 
lost immunity in our bodies and then we are prone to all this dengue, pangu, chikungunya, all these diseases. And that is the logic which we have used in our protocols. If you have seven kashayams and then that conditions, that antigens that are growing in and not only help the prebiotic condition, also help trigger the antibody production in our system. Hence, you become completely immune to many of these viral and bacterial attacks. And that is the logic. But what are we doing to our kids nowadays in the name of science and uh, modern medicine? The moment the boy has some problem, go and give antibiotic dose. Not one week, two weeks, three yes. weeks. That means you are completely getting rid of the first wall of immunity by removing all the yes. bacteria in your system. And which is the most unscientific thing that you can do on this planet to your kid. But that is what is done all over the world, irrespective of where you are, the ones they say they're allopathic system. And all the people should understand the way you increase your immunity is to give diversified greens and vegetables to your baby. The moment the baby is two year old, your job is to see that the baby grows up on various kinds of greens, various kinds of vegetables, various kinds of fruits. Like this is what is the most beautiful thing about our country. We have various diversified food materials and food patterns and processing the food in your hands and in your house is the most important thing here because it has to be fresh. Oh, I will dry leaves and make kashayams. 90% <laughs> of the effect is gone. So this is the answer for your prebiotic, probiotic. And I hope I have covered all the things. Thank you, sir. To watch full video, click on the link given in the description box below. Thank you for watching.